go. Merry Christmas, everybody. We are going to be opening up the Advent calendar here on Christmas. It is 2022, December 25th. So I'm sorry that we didn't do a lot of videos this month. Like I said, you guys already know the explanation. So my son is here with me. We are going to be opening up the Lego Harry Potter calendar, which I paid $44 for at Barnes and Noble. Here we go. We're recording. We're good. So here it is. Advent calendar. I've already opened up the piece back here. Whoops. <laughs> Bloopers. So that's what it looks like. And then there's the bottom there, and it also is a game. So my son, we're going to just kind of leave it out this way. Oops, we do not want to do that. I'm just going to fold it down here, and I'm going to have him open up the first one, which is right there. Go for it, honey. Then we're going to have to show the camera. Bring this back a little bit. I need to fix the light here while you're doing that. And it should give you like, um, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of like, it'll show you on there how to build it. Show? Yeah. It'll show you how the pieces go together. Okay. Well, this is the first one. It's some kind of potion stand. It looks like right there. I'm so I'm not sure what that is. The box, <laughs> it's kind of confusing a little bit. And so you just got to read what that is. So we're going to pause the video while we put this together because it'll take forever. So we're just going to pause. We're going to look at the picture. We're going to put it together. <laughs> okay, guys, we actually had to watch a video. Get a really good reference video to be able to put these together. Especially if you have a hard time seeing the instructions that are on the box. Okay, here we go. Number two. So here we go with day number two. And day number two is right here. So I'm going to pop that up. I mean, for $44, so far, it's Okay. It's easier to pop the tap if you hold it like that and then kind of just bring it back. What's mine? Oh, boy. This is going to be freaking confusing. This is, looks like, the Quidditch rings. So there they are. Uh, I have to put my glasses on. <laughs> so we're going to pause the video. We're going to build the Quidditch rings, and hopefully it doesn't take me that long. So this is them in their package. Here we go. Okay, so, so far I've been following the color scheme. And my glasses, this is, here are my glasses, makes it a little easier for my old eyes to see. So this is what we got going on so far. We got one Quidditch ring in place. This one's here. As you guys can see the diagram right there. So I'm just kind of following the color schemes. And I should have been recording this as I was going, but I just kind of like didn't do that because I figured it'd take a while for me to do this. But actually it's not that hard. So you're going to pop this gray one here, right there. Then you got your stand, which is this little piece here. And you're going to put your stand up like that. And I hope I did that right. This looks like it's got a high rise on it. So I'll see after I fix this middle one here. Maybe I have to put it. Yeah, see, it's kind of crazy. I think this has maybe a too high rise on it is what it looks like. So maybe put that one there. I don't know. That won't go together. See what I mean? It's like crazy. So we got the high rise there. One credit ring here. Oh my gosh. This is actually really confusing. Okay. So one there. Let's put this Quidditch ring up here first. Because the brown high rise needs to be in the middle. And then it has to have this on there. So I'm wondering, see, it doesn't really look right, but this is like the way it's supposed to be done though. Wait a minute. Come on now. I gotta get that off. Like, why do I have like so many pieces of this? <laughs> oh my God, this is ridiculous. Okay. So we got that so far. I'll just pause the video and then we'll keep going. All right. 
that's what I got. It doesn't really look like the picture because the picture shows like it's kind of staggered. Like there's one here, one there, one there. So that's what I got, but I also have an extra piece. So maybe if a piece gets lost, you have one to like replace. Okay, Quidditch rings. So recap, here we go. Where'd the other one go? There it is. So we got one and two and an extra little doohickey here. So we're going to move on to door number three. Son, find door number three. And any extra pieces I'll just put in this little plastic thing here. Door number three oh, is up hair. here. You got Harry. And we have Mr. Harry Potter. So a third door is Mr. Harry Potter. So we do have an extra, extra wand piece here for Harry. Just in case you guys lose one, you do have an extra one. So any other little extra parts, I would put them in a bag. But there we go. Door number three is Mr. Harry Potter. So I'm going to put him over here. The other ones. And we are on to door number four. So I'm going to pop that. Oh, hello. Why do I get all the hard ones? <laughs> I have the first hard one that yeah. took me like 10 minutes to put together. <laughs> I have the Whomping Willow with the Ford Anglia on number four. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm going to pause that because I'm about to follow the diagram and hopefully get this thing put together right. All right, guys. So Ford Anglia, Whomping Willow. So this one wasn't too hard. Um, you do have extra pieces here in my hand, as you can see. So if you lose any, you can always, like, replace them. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And then the Ford Anglia sits on, like, a little clear pedestal. So there we go. That one, I believe, was number four. So on to door five, which is there, son. Let's put this one back with Harry. Oh, Put them in order. I'm not sure. That looks like the maybe a Chamber of Secrets store. Because it's got the snake. So this one is door number five. Oops. Okay, door number five. There we go. And it looks like the snake is there. So we're going to put this one together. And then after everything, we will definitely show you all the pieces. So we are on the door number five. So here we go. This is the end result and what it looks like. And after this, me and my son will give you our thoughts and opinions on putting these pieces together and what we think of the whole advent calendar. So let's move on to day number six, which is right there. So day number six. So we're going to pop that open and put this one over here. So we're going to try to keep those in line. As you guys can see, my trusty iPhone is back there. We've been kind of using reference videos because this is a little hard to judge by the picture that's actually on the box. So I got an easy one. It's Moaning Myrtle. She's day number six. So we're going to put Myrtle together on the video. And that way you can see the process that goes to making her. So we got extra pieces. All the extra pieces are going to save those. Um, scissors. Here we go. Make sure you guys have a trusty pair of scissors with you. It'll be a lot easier. I don't need my glasses. Let me just put those over there. So we got Moaning Myrtle. How many of you are Myrtle fans? I love Myrtle. She is so funny. So here we go. Moaning Myrtle. And she looks relatively simple to put together. One. So we got her stand. We're going to start with her feet. Let's put her here in the middle. And then her body. So we're going to go with the body. Here we go. Just pop it on like so. Goes on relatively easy. And she is articulated, so she does move back and forth. We're going to put her head on, and there we go. There's her little face. Whoops. There's her little face, and we have a, a sad face. 
So I think we're going to put Moaning Myrtle with Sad Face. And then this is her hair. It's really cute. So we're going to pop her hair on. There you go, Myrtle. No, you're not naked. All right, guys. Moaning Myrtle. So she was day number six. So we're going to be moving on to day number seven in a second. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And Merry Christmas. All right, guys. So I'm a gamer. Had to have the code red. We're taking a break from doing the advent calendar. And Jimmy Dean's breakfast croissant. So we're doing a little munch time, and then we're going to get back to the video. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please hit the thumbs up. We're going to have many more funny, crazy videos coming soon. Love you guys. All right, my son's getting door number seven. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I don't even know what this is. All right, show the camera, show the camera. Oh, it's the night bus. We could do that. That's the night bus, guys. This is going to be a fun one. Oh, I love nice. the purple. Huh. So we're going to let him put together the night bus. And we'll be right back. All right. The night bus. Door number seven. So cute. Look at that purple. It's absolutely adorable. And then a little lamp. And, this has like and it comes with extra pieces, which are right here. So you do have extra pieces for your night bus. All right. On to door number eight. I'm just going to put the night bus there. I'm going to move my phone. Door number eight. Watch me get a complicated one. Oh, <laughs> here we go. What the heck is that one? Oh, my. Oh, it's a Death Eater tree. This might be pretty simple. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can put it together. If it takes too long, then we'll pause the video. Which it might. Maybe. We'll see. These are the pieces. For the Death Eaters. Oh, no, they're not Death Eaters. Those are Dementors. They are Dementors. That's what they gotta be, guys. Dementors. So, let's put the pieces down. Here we go. You know what? There's a lot of them. So, we're just gonna pause and I will show you the build when I'm done. Alright, Dementors. So, not too bad. They did include these little clear Lego pieces there, which I put as a pedestal for this Dementor here. Um, on the tree, I put that little clear one right there for this Dementor, and then you could bend him back and forth. Other than that, this didn't take too long. It was pretty relatively simple to put together. So these are the extra pieces for it, and we have the Dementors. Next up is door number nine. So let's pop that one. Oh, looks like Sirius Black. So we will be building Sirius, and then we're going to pause the video because this is going to be extremely long, guys. I apologize for that, but this has been totally fun so far. All right, door number nine, and Sirius is holding the Azkaban prison numbers. My son got that one. This is what Sirius looks like. Look at that hair. Isn't that amazing? This hair is just totally amazing. All right, here we go. Going to be moving on to door 10, which is right up here. So I'm going to put Sirius over by the Dementors, which he is number nine. I'm pop this door open. Oh, hello. Here we go. Oh, what did I get? Um... Looks like the Goblet of Fire. This is going to be cool. Just a couple of pieces here. Not bad, not bad. So we're going to assemble the Goblet of Fire and be right back with you guys in a few seconds. All right, so we're going to assemble the Goblet of Fire. So you've got Harry's little letter. Let's see if we could zoom into that. Oh, that's so much better. Harry Potter... There's this burnt piece of paper. That's going to go here. So you just pop it on there like so. Really simple. Then you're going to put this one down. Wish we could have done this for all, but we were really confused on how they went on there. Uh, looks like the pedestal for the goblet is here. So we are going to pop that 
bad boy right here, which I was doing it totally backwards. If it'll go on, my fingers. My fingers don't want to work today. All right, so it goes on that way. We're going to put the cup on here. Then we're going to pop this piece inside the goblet. If it will work. Oops, I did it backwards. So make sure you have this in there. There it is. I'm going to put that there. Pop it down. I think if it'll stay. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And then the fire is supposed to be right here. But for some reason, that is not popping in like it's supposed to. So, eh, which is very confusing. Or you can just go like that and say, forget that other piece and just pop this in like that. So you got your fire out of your goblet. You have your Harry Potter piece of par burnt parchment and there you go and then there's an extra piece i tried to get that to go in the middle but it just would not go in there so next door is door number 11 which is right there so we're going to sit you guys back there door number 11 is oh wow okay that's really confusing we're gonna have to put that together and then we'll see what it is Okay, guys, below the video, comment what this piece is. I'm not sure. That was I think that it would be the Triwizard Cup. It does have a couple of extra pieces. So that was in door number 11. This video is going to be super long, but you know what? It is Christmas. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. So grab some cocoa, some chips, cookies, whatever you want, and stay tuned. Because we are going to be opening door number 12. Door number 12. Here we go. Oh, I get easy. Oh, I get he who shall not be named, guys. You know who that is. So, say his name down in the comments below. You guys know who it is if you're a Harry Potter head. So, we are going to build Mr. He Who Shall Not Be Named. I'm just going to hold them in my hand because it's relatively simple to do this. So there's the pedestal. We're going to put his feet in the middle. This is really simple because it's such a gigantor piece. Just pops on like that. Then we have our body. No, that's his cape. He's right, away. top. See? Okay, so we're going backwards here. Oops. Ah. Actually, why do I don't have to pop it. I can just turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the top piece. Here is his head. He's got his snake snake like tongue there. Is there another one? Nope, just a snake like tongue. So we're gonna put that on. And then he only gets the wand. So be careful when you're putting the wands in their hands because they're extremely hard because their hands are like so small that you literally have to squeeze the heck out of them. Oh, got it in there. Relatively simple. So this is he who shall not be named. So let's put him, that's door number 12, put him over there by the, I think it might be the Toy Wizard Cup, but I'm not sure. Moving on to door number 13, which is up here. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I am having a lot of fun. Ooh, what is that? Hold on, let me zoom in. Now that, ooh, that I am not sure about. So we're going to put that together and then we're going to show you guys. All right, guys, so door number 14, and that um, is, is the room of requirement. So number 13 is the room of requirement. Look how pretty that is. It's absolutely pretty. And moving on to door number 14. Oh, I think this is where series gets killed oh man i figures i would have to build that one man that's so sad <sighs> all right that's a lot of pieces so guys give me a couple of minutes i'm gonna build that wall that doorway there that's so sad all right guys <clears throat> so this one was pretty simple to build it's really pretty Got the clear blue pieces on the sides, if you guys can see those. Then the archway itself. 
So these were relatively simple to build. All right, guys. So we are back. 20 minutes in. Wow, this is crazy. So we are now on 15. 15. Oh, you get an easy one. That's Nymphadora Tonks. So my son gets the easy one, Nymphadora. She's awesome. Absolutely awesome. If you guys hear a little clicking and clattering of claws, it's my Beva dog and my Pomeranian, which they are absolutely cute. But kids, you guys got to be quiet. We don't want to hear clicky clicky. So my son's going to put Nymphadora together. And then we're going to be moving on to da -da -da -da, door number 16. I love the smaller figures. They're so much easier to put together. So much easier. Nymphadora with her purple hair. Let's see if we can focus on her. Come on, camera. Focus. There's Tonks in all of her purple hair glory. There we go. Nymphadora Tonks. Okay. Here we go to door number 16. And it looks like we have... A purple one here. So I'm kind of curious who it would be. Oh, we got Professor Slughorn. It's Professor Slughorn when he was the chair. Okay, this is nice. So we're getting simple here. Getting more simpler, I should say. So it looks like the pedestal. Look, oh my gosh, look at all those pieces. So we're going to put. Mr. Slughorn together, and then I will show him to you. Professor Slughorn in his chair form. And then we have one little piece left. So there it is. It's absolutely cute. It's really, really cute. Very simple to put together. Door number 16. On we go to door number 17, guys. Door number 17. Ooh. That's the pensive. Dumbledore's pensive. All right, guys, we have Dumbledore's pensive. And this is quite the little selection of extra pieces for this set, which is really cool. So we're going to build the pensive, which is one of my favorite things. Dumbledore's pensive. There it is. So this one was relatively easy for him to put together. Has one little clear piece left. As you can see the water is supposed to be in there. Very, very pretty. So on to door number 18. So I'm going to put the pensive over okay. here. Extra piece in the bag. Door number 18. Which is right there. And it's a purple one again. Up. Oh, ah, it looks like Professor Snape. Is that Snape? I think it might be Professor Snape. Right on, man. Okay. All right, so here we go. This one was relatively cool. So I hope we're getting easier ones as we go along, guys. Because, like, oh my gosh. We'll have a vote for the most complicated Lego piece that we put together. And I'll see which one my son thinks is the most complicated. And then I'll go. And, yeah, we'll see what it's like. So we will do a vote. And then you guys... Look at the pieces when we're all done putting them together, and then you guys vote down below which one you think would have been the most complicated to put together. So we got Professor Snape. Uh, should we make him mad, or should we put his kind of cynical... We'll put a cynical face on, shall we? Let's just do that. There we go. Snape in all of his glory comes with wand, which is awesome. So we're going to put the wands there and the other extra piece. going to put it in his hand. Here we go, Mr. Snape. Oh, come on, please. Please grab it. Please grab the wand. All right. Professor Snape, one of my favorite professors. As you all know, Alan Rickman was amazing as him. So he is door number 18 on to 19. We're continuing. Number 19, Deathly Hollows. And oh my. What is that? Oh! <laughs> what is that? Oh, that looks like fire. It looks like there's fire on it. Um, I think that this might be the cave with the goblet, maybe? 
What the heck? I don't know what that one is, guys. I have no idea what that one is. I'm going to show you the picture. So this, I'm not too sure about. Look at that. And then you see, like, the little flame down here. So, all right, we'll pause it, we'll put it together, and then we'll show it to you guys. Okay, well, this one was definitely a little more complicated. <laughs> My son thinks it's supposed to be Haggard's bike. So if it is, comment down below. Maybe it's when they land in the water at the burrows. Very possible. So it did have a couple of extra pieces. So here's the extra pieces. All right. Moving on to door number 20. Okay, door number 20 is, looks like a Deathly Hollow symbol. <gasps> oh, it's the burrow. We have the burrow. So we're going to assemble the burrow. Looks like we got 20, that's one, two, three, like four more to go, I think. Yep, four more to go. Burrow, here it is. We're going to assemble it and then we'll show it to you guys. Okay, the burrow. Here we go. Isn't that adorable? Little trees, little house angled. One more little house piece left right there. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Focus. There we go. The burrow. Now we're on to number 21. 21. Where is 21? <laughs> Up there. Looks like we got another Deathly Hollow symbol. So we're going to pop door number 21. Ooh, a headwig. Ooh. It's a headwig. I love headwig. So we're going to assemble that and then we'll be right back. So we got headwig and the spinner top. With one extra piece. With one extra piece. It's a little brown thing here. But look at headwig. She's so cute. And boy, she is white. There she is. So much better. And then your little spinner, and it has little pictures on the sides. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Here we go. So, so that was number 21. Now we are down to the wire here. We're in 22. number 22. And that looks like a Deathly Hollow symbol as well. Oh, boy. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this one, oh, it looks a little complicated. Yeah, that looks a little complicated. I'm not even sure what this would even be. So we're going to put it together and we're going to show you guys once we're done. All right, guys. So Ukrainian Iron Belly on top of Gringotts Bank. This is really, really cool. It's really awesome. Yeah, actually, once we figured it out, it wasn't too hard to put together. So we just, I went up from the bottom and just started looking at the shapes and then just kind of going from there. But yeah, Ukrainian Iron Belly. It's really cool. Next door. 23. We are almost done. Yay. Another Yay. Another Deathly Hollows. It is the Hogwarts Express. That is the one I've been wanting to see. Oh my God. Here we go. To oh, door okay. number 23, Hogwarts Express. My favorite train. I do have the Noble Collection one. So if you guys want to see that one, hit thumbs up on the video. <coughs> I will definitely be glad to show you my die cast Hogwarts Express train that my husband got for me. Oh so we're going to put her together and then we'll show you her in a second. Okay, guys. Hogwarts Express. So, platform nine and three quarters. Um, it's actually missing one of the little Legos back there, which is one of the high rises, but it does have other pieces which are left, which is kind of crazy. So we kind of have a gap there, but you know what, if you're going to play with it, you just look at it this way, or if you have extra Legos or something at home, just fill in this little gap and you should be fine. But we got the Hogwarts Express door number three. So we are on to the last door, which is door 24. And then we wrap in this video. It's been forever. So let's just keep going. And we have Neville Longbottom. So what an awesome piece to finish out the advent calendar. Then we will give our ideas and reviews on the toughest pieces that we've had to put together so far. And then we'll wrap the video. So Neville Longbottom. He is awesome. And it, he has the Sword of Gryffindor. Let's get my phone out of the way. Here we go. 
Snuggle. So I'm going to put him together. Here's this little plate. I'm going to put his body together first. Just do the easy stuff. So, there we go. Body is put together. The sweater. And we've got his head popped on. Here we go. I'm going to put his hair on him. Oh, and we got kittens in the background, of course. Oh, his hair wasn't too bad to put on, so Neville Longbottom. Let's put him on his stand. And give you guys a quick look-see of the Sword of Gryffindor. It actually has little ruby pieces in it. They're shiny. They're really cute. There you go. You actually can see the detail of that. Little ruby pieces are actually in the sword. So well done, Lego. Well done. The sword looks really nice. So let's put that in his hand. Hopefully it'll just go right in there like it's supposed to. Unless I'm going to flip Neville across the living room, which would not be fun. Oh, snaps in perfectly. There we go. Neville and the Sword of Gryffindor. Okay, time to wrap the video, guys. So, there is all the pieces out. All the doors have been opened. That is the game piece itself right there. As you can tell, all of your pieces are going to be put in here. Then when each player spends the dreidel, they will get pieces to put here and then there. And there is a way where you guys just lay everything there. So, pretty simple game. Shows you on the back. Let's take a vote on which piece is the most hardest to do. And we will showcase, or I'll bring the camera down and we'll show you each and every individual one. So, we're going to be a little shaky, guys. That's number one. So, here's two. Harry was three. We got Whomping Willow 4, um, I'm not sure what that one was, but we got Morning Myrtle with 5, Night Bus 6, 7 Dementors, 8 Sirius Black, 9 the uh, Goblet of Fire, Triwizard Cup is 10, 11 was Voldemort, um, that one was Room of Requirement at number 12, right, 13. 14's Nymphador Tonks, 15 Professor Slughorn, 16 Pensive, 17 Sirius Black, oh, we missed one. 18 is the motorbike, Burrow, Hedwig with the dreidel, and then Gringotts, Hogwarts Express, and Last Neville. So, son, which one do you think was the most hardest to put together? Mm. I would have to say the one that took me the longest was the first one. Okay. So I'm going to pick next. Yeah, that definitely is a complicated piece. For me, it would probably have to have been... Um, Gringotts went by so fast. But like one of the other ones, which one did I do? You did Night Bus. I'd say like it would have to be... Seriousness was so simple to do, though. I'd say maybe the burrow. So I'm thinking for me, we're going to go with possibly the burrow or Gringotts. We'll I go with Gringotts. So, so I did yeah, the hard you, ones. you actually, because you chose first, you got the hard ones. All right, guys. So that is the 2022 Lego Harry Potter Advent calendar with me and my son putting it together. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, smash thumbs up. We have another unboxing coming, and it is the Funko Pop Advent Calendar, which will be next. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.